everyone and welcome to another Make It Monday. I'm Sarah with Beyond Fabric and today we're going to bring you another quilt block for the Beyond Scrappy Quilt Along. And here it is. We are calling this Blunt Diamonds. Now if you're not familiar with the Beyond Scrappy Quilt Along, we started it in January with Scrappy Rooster, another quilt store here in town. So six months out of the year we'll, we will be providing blocks and six months he will be providing blocks. So make sure to check out his blocks and then you could put ours and his together and hopefully at the end of the year have a nice quilt or you could make a couple table runners or pillow fronts, whatever you'd like to do. So let's get started on our Blunt Diamonds. So in order to make this block, we are going to be cutting rectangles. We have four pieces of our lighter fabric. We have four pieces of our darker fabric. And then we have our two diamond fabrics that we are going to do in contrast. We have the pop of green and then our lighter fabric. Again, you could do these in any colors you choose. This was just the color scheme that we had chose for this year, the black white with pops of lime green. So now that we have our pieces cut, we are going to put this together. All right, so we have our pieces and the technique we're using is basically like when you go to make your binding. So when you go to make your binding, you would have it marked here so that when you sew and flip, you have it connected. When you do this, if you notice, you're gonna have a smaller edge over here and a larger edge over here. So pay attention to how in your setup, you're going to have some that will have the smaller and then some with the larger, and that is going to determine where you go to mark your pieces. So for the smaller on this side, our pieces are going to be laid over to the other side. Here will be our pieces. And now we're going to take our ruler and from this corner to this corner, we are going to draw a line. There's many different marking tools you can use. We're going to show a couple of them today. The first one I'm going to use is our friction pin. Draw a line from corner to corner. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing at the bottom. And notice our smaller end is over here. So corner to corner. Now, in contrast, on the other side, we need the smaller end over here. So place your rectangle the opposite way so that we end up with a smaller side here. Now because we are using black fabric, my black pen is not going to show up. So now we're going to go from corner to corner and I'm going to use the Choco liner to make my mark. Make sure you have them lined up. And again, the smaller end over here. Almost time to refill this. And they are refillable. And again, line it up and corner to corner. If you don't have a Choco liner, you can also use a hair marker if you have it. And now you see my crease, and now we know where to sew. Go ahead and pin these and mark your other two. Right, so now we have our two green and our two white pieces with our accent colors and we're going to go over to the machine and sew them all at once. Now that we have them marked, we are going to sew straight on the line. 
Now that we have sewn one side, we're going to clip apart our little trail and sew the other side. Now cut your chain apart and before we go over to the ironing board we need to trim them up. So now we need to cut this excess part off. So using your ruler, line up quarter inch so we have a quarter inch seam allowance and cut off that excess. Save those for something fun and now we're starting to create our row. So do this with all of the corners. Now that they're all cut, let's go press them open. So when we go to put them together, we want these to go opposite of each other so that when we sandwich them, we have a nice happy seam where one goes one way, one goes the other. So on my greens, I'm gonna press them out. On my black and whites, I'm gonna press in. So green out, black, white, in. Get to press them. Now we have our pieces. And we are going to flip and sew, flip and sew. So when I go to sandwich them together, I want to make sure that my seams, so one seam is going this way and one is going that way, and they line up. And I'm going to put a clip on it so it stays together. using a scant quarter inch, sew them together. them apart and now we are going to join the two together. So now when you go to piece it together again we are going to lock those seams, sandwich together, put a pen to hold it in place so that it makes it easier when we go to piece it and then using a scant quarter inch join them together. Now let's go press our seams over. Press these over to one side. Maybe. Now I've also 
also, I'm also going to show you another product to help these lay even flatter. We are using the acorn pen. So this you buy empty and then you put the acorn solution in it. It's refillable. And all you do is slide it right along your seam and then press. And super flat. Once you're happy with everything press flat, our points look good, you can celebrate your completed blunt diamonds. Now before you're finished with your blunt diamonds, you need to square it up to 12 and a half by 12 and a half. Once that's squared up, you can go put it into your next project. Now this is our last block for the Beyond Scrappy Quilt Along, and December will be uh, the Scrappy Rooster's last block as well. So then now is the time to start putting them all together. We can't wait to get photos of everything that you're doing and how you decide to put your month of Beyond Scrappy Quilt Along blocks together. Thank you so much for joining us for another Make It Monday. You can follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and of course, Instagram. And if you are on YouTube, make sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time we put another video up. See you next time.